I wish I could come with you. This is one journey we all must make alone, Mardana. At least I'll be here to bury your body. Hey, my father was born a Hindu. We cremate the body. Look, tonight you Muslims lay flowers on my left side, Hindus on the right. Whichever flowers remain fresh in the morning, they will tell you what is to be done. He died in that inky blackness just before dawn, when the air is like nectar. He was born at that hour as well. I grew up in the same village as Nanak, so I often heard tell how the stars sang at his birth. Maybe that was why Nanak loved to sing. I could always see God's light in his eyes. And so could his sister, Nanaki. But not everyone could see it. Do you want to be late on your first day? Can't I go to school, Papa? You're a girl. Hi. So can I go? You're a Muslim, Madlana. This is a school for Hindu boys. to learn about God. Nanak! Ah, ah, ah. E, e, e. Oh, oh. Oh, Let Nanak teach ah, us. Ah, ah. E, e. E, e. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. On the paper of faith, with the pen of your heart, write the thoughts God inspires you to think. Oh. You write what I tell you to write. Out! Nanak! Doing nothing again. I'm trying to understand God. We are Hindus. Many gods show us the way. No, only one. He, though God, is not male or female. Empty words. Now I have a word for you. Work! Papa! Shh! You can look after my cows. Nanak loved his work, even when he grew up. It allowed him to think about God, which he never stopped doing just as he never stopped driving his father crazy. Nanaka! Father, I was thinking, all the things we do wrong, God forgives us. It better, because I won't. You have let my cows ruin a poor man's crop. How will I feed my children or pay my rent, sir? You lazy, worthless boy! It's a miracle. Kalu, Nanak has been touched by God. Ha! Why has God done my work? Because he wants me to do his? Nanak? Heaven is calling me. What kind of God would ask you to leave your wife, your two babies? A God who says we should not put our own needs at the center of our lives. How do you know what God says? I look into my heart, Sulakni. Don't go. With you I feel like I'm queen of the whole world. 
I will think of you every day. Every day you shall be queen. I went with him. Well, how could he make his hymns without me to make the music? We went first to his sister Nanaki in Sultanpur. Her husband found Nanak a job as a storekeeper, but he gave away food to the poor. Oh, no. Thank you. With God's help. This must be what God chose you for. Is it? Nanak thought about God all the time. In the morning, in the inky blackness just before dawn, he would go to the river to pray. It is time for you to begin the work for which you were born. Go, Nanak. Spread love. Glorify my name. Destroy hypocrisy. Nanaki, it's been three days. He can't be dead. Be merciful as I am merciful. My name is God and you are my divine Guru. God is neither Hindu nor Muslim. So whose path shall I follow? I shall follow God's path. So Nanak followed God's path from India to Arabia to Persia. Truth above all, above truth, truthful conduct. If you do something, do it well. Do not cheat, do not lie. When I heard there was a holy man in town, I had my servants prepare a feast. Will you share my bread? Did you earn your bread by honest work? Yes. Eat my food, Guru. <gasps> your bread is earned by the blood of those who do your work for you. He who eats what he earns by hard work and gives with his own hand he alone knows the true way of life. <laughs> you know, you can't take your money with you, but you can take your good deeds. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, house the poor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Go on. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Oh, she is an untouchable. Now you will have to purify yourself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because I touched her? God made her and God's spark is in her. We weren't the only people traveling from nation to nation in those days. The armies of the powerful Emperor Babar were advancing through India, bringing fear and panic wherever they went. Even Nanak was taken prisoner. This king is a butcher. Cruelty is his knife, 
Mercy has fled into the night. A lion falling upon helpless children. All this slaughter, this weeping, does it not move you? You do not fight fair, Emperor. God has seen what you have done here today. Have mercy on me, man of God. Then show mercy. The Emperor did. He set free a thousand prisoners that day. Mardana, why has God set me free? So that you can go on spreading his word. Actions speak louder than words. I have told the world how to live. Now I must show them. So Nanak created a village, a place in which everyone's bread brought forth milk, not blood. And he called the place Kartarpur, creator's town. And when the fields were gold with the first harvest, he brought our families to Kartarpur. At last. Where shall we sit? Here. Here? I'm their guru's father. We are all children of the same father. Man or woman, rich or poor, Hindu or Muslim. What do you think? This place is like the ocean. The ocean? The fish does not understand how great the sea is. But without it, he will die. The people here do not understand how great God is. But without him, they would die. Wonderful words, Tripta. Your son's words. I think I have been a fool. Hmm. Nanak also said, the things we do wrong, God forgives us. I hope he is right. <laughs> of course he is right. He is the guru. I'm the old fool. The time came for Nanak and me to grow old. Nanak had been chosen to speak God's words, to teach his truths. Now God chose again. Lana would be God's guru, would speak God's words when Nanak had gone. He died in that inky blackness just before dawn, when the air is like nectar. We laid the flowers just as he had told us to, Muslims on the left, Hindus on the right. When dawn broke, every bloom was as fresh as if it had just been picked. But Nanak was not there. What fools we were. Hadn't Nanak told us long ago, there is no Hindu, no Muslim, only God's path laid out before us, waiting for us to tread it, carrying us home.